Want to learn how to animate images with Filmora? Stay tuned. Whenever you start a new project, you should always get yourself organized. I suggest naming your folders between images and audio. These folders will contain all of the audio and images that you import into Filmora. Now it's time to go ahead and grab your files and move them into the folders you've just created. Drag the background onto the timeline. And now grab your Coke can and drop it on the second timeline right above it. Now we need to scale this Coke can and that rock that it's going to hit on. And let's go ahead and do that. Move the Coke can to the side. Just get it out of the way and select the background. There's a couple ways you can do this. You can use the scale tool. And remember, we're just trying to bring that rock make that rock bigger and keep the mountains in view so you can use your keyboard arrows the up key to keep everything centered so scale it where you like it how big you want that rock use your arrow keys to move the background up let's go ahead and grab that coke can and we can do the, something similar. Now, the position that you angle it on is the position we want it to lay on after it moves across the screen. That'll be its final position. You can also grab the corners of the box to scale it more quickly. Again, make sure you use your arrow keys to keep everything lined up. Just click OK when you're finished. Keyframes are an easy way to move static objects. Make sure your playhead is at the beginning of your video. Grab your Coke can and use your left arrow key to move the can off the screen. It's important to use the arrow keys to keep that can aligned with the rock. While the can is selected, add a keyframe to the beginning position. Slide the playhead to where you want the rock and the can to meet. Select the can again and add another keyframe. This will be your end keyframe position. Select the can and use the right arrow key. Slide it over and place it on the rock exactly where you want it to land in your animation. Select OK. Go ahead and play that back. And you can see the can now slides perfectly straight across the screen and hits the rock. Now we need to add a little rotation to the can to make it look like the wind is blowing it across the sand. Simply click on the end position of your keyframe, select the can and double click it. If it doesn't come back to animation, you can choose it 
and you see that there is an angle in there already. That's the current angle. So we're going to add a rotation. So simply grab that little white dot and spin it until it lands back on the can. You can spin it twice. You can spin it three times. You can spin it four times. However many times you spin it is how many times it will spin across the screen for you. That can looks way too new. Let's make it look old. We're going to apply a LUT. L-U-T stands for Look Up Table. And Filmora has a lot of pre-designed LUTs for you. Let's pick one. Once you pick a LUT, you can lay your mouse right up in that box and scroll the wheel to cycle through all of them and pick the one that you like. Let's pick the 007 because it makes the can look faded out. Let's add some sound. Align the playhead with the end keyframe. Drop in your metallic clunking sound. Now you notice on this particular sound there's a dead space at the beginning. Just simply cut and put it back into position. Split the end or cut the end off and delete it. Go to audio in Filmora and search for wind. You'll get several files. Choose whatever you like. I pick wind rumbling and place it on audio 2 at the very beginning. Cut the end. Play it back. Now we're going to add some special effects. Let's start with the liquid spouting out of the can. Just choose elements, scroll down to film stocks, and pick special effects. Choose spouting water. These effects are free with Filmora. Drop that effect onto the timeline where the can hits the rock. Scale it, position it, and cut it. Don't forget you can use your up, down, left, right arrow keys to fine tune the position. Before we add our next two elements, it's important that you lock your tracks. Lock all video tracks for this step. Go back to elements and search for the word fantastic. You'll get the fantastic traveling pack. This pack is also free with Filmora. Choose a volcano and the tree and drop them onto the timelines at the beginning of your video. These elements are animated, and you may not like the tree growing there at the beginning. So what I've done is I've hidden the volcano track so that I can focus on the tree track. And I'm choosing the position where the tree stops growing, and I'm going to split that track and delete the beginning part. So now the tree is already grown for the beginning of the video. We're going to deal with the end of that video animation in a minute. Let's go ahead and hide the tree and unhide the volcano. You can see that the volcano also is animated and it grows. I don't want that to grow. 
So I'm going to choose the point where it just stops to grow, right there. And I'm going to split that track again and delete the beginning. Now, I want this volcano to be about the same size as those mountains in the background. So just keep uh, scaling it with your mouse and moving it around until you get it about the size. You just want to cover up the old volcano. Cover up the old mountain with your volcano. Let's position it around until it looks good. So it's stretched out a little wider there. I'm using the keyboard to slightly adjust it left and right. Let's go ahead and put a LUT on that to sort of try to get it to the same color as the other mountains. Harry Potter is pretty close. Let's use Harry Potter. It's not perfect, but it's close. You can play around with these. Pick the one you like. Okay, unhide everything, check your video, and make sure it's the way you like it. Now you notice the tree grows and shrinks and the volcano shrinks at the end. I don't want that. So position your playhead at the point where the can hits the rock. Make sure you've got all your tracks locked except the two you're going to work with. Select one, press control and select the other so you have them both and go ahead and cut the end of those off. Slide your playhead back just a little bit. Let's turn everything off now. I want to hide all the video tracks. All I want to see is the tree and the volcano. Select both tracks again and cut. This time do not delete, just simply take a snapshot. Drag your snapshot down onto either one of the two upper tracks, it doesn't matter which one. Cut the end of the snapshot to fit the rest of your video. Unhide everything so you can inspect your work. And just play a little bit of that back. And now the volcano and the tree are no longer animated and we don't want them shrinking away on us. Align your playhead with the end position of the keyframe. Choose title. And I have favorited the default text, which is one of my favorites. You can choose anything you like and position it right on the playhead. Scroll to the end, cut it, and delete. Double click on your title and change it to whatever you want. From here you can size it, add fonts, change colors, add animations. You can do a lot with text in Filmora. I'm just choosing a font that I like. There are some preset colors here for you. Choose what you like. I'm going to go to the Advanced tab and scroll down. And I'm going to increase the black, change it to red, and increase the black to, to create a border around it, like so. And uh, let's go ahead and animate that too while we're at it. Double click on your text. And choose one of the presets. You can also use keyframes to create your own animations. Okay, you can slide the keyframe around 
to slightly change it if you like. That looks pretty good. Play it back. That's good. Now let's go ahead and fade out. Position your playhead where you want your fade to start. Go ahead and unlock all of your tracks or you will not be able to place your transition on them. So make sure everything is unlocked and everything is visible for this step. Let's fade out right there. Do not cut it or split it, just we're using this as a marker. Go to Transitions. Again, I have favorited fade, so just choose fade. You can also fade to gray, whatever. Drop it right onto the track, highlight it, and snap it directly onto the playhead. Do this for all tracks so everything fades equally. Now everything will fade out at the same time. And there you have it. Show off your creations by linking them in the description.